with Steve and Rob from Sons of Liberty. So nice to see you. I've seen you Afternoon. before. We you know you. Indeed. I know you. Nice I'm not, to see you. I don't know you. Yes, indeed. So, you will do soon, though. I will do. So t- <laughs> tell us who you are and what you're doing here. I'm a new singer for, obviously, Sons of Liberty. Um, Stepped in for these guys. Uh, I think this is sixth gig now. Yes, sixth gig. Yeah. You're from a band called Yesterday's um, Gone. Yeah, our front um, band called Yesterday's Gone, Chesterfield based, uh, Sheffield okay. based band. So yeah, it's been good fun so far. Is it? They're not driving you mad or anything. Well, not just yet. <laughs> not just yet. He's already halfway there, so we haven't yeah. got to push him too far. So how did you come to recruit this new member? Um, I mean, is it a temporary or a permanent? Are you going to be doing two bands indefinitely? I mean, how? It's um, so we'll go back moment, to that yeah. it's still a work in progress yeah. at the moment. Um, we'll see what see what obviously see comes out of it and how you know things will progress throughout the course of this year. But yeah, it's going to be a busy one. I bet. It's a temporary it's a permanent one. solution. <laughs> like is the best answer to that. Yeah. Um, so well, do you, do you Rob. Do you know each other or? No, it was after Rob decided he'd had enough and announced he was leaving then we had to think about what we wanted to do with the band where we were going to carry on or whatever so we decided we were going to carry on and look for a singer and then the next thing we knew we were inundated with quite a few um, people wanting to be our singer was one of them you it might have been and one of them happened to be rob so we had a quick Shufty through a lot of the um, people who sent stuff. Yeah. I like that word. It's good, isn't it? I've never used that before. Christina, yeah. remind me to use that word. Shufty. Yeah. So we had a good listen and look at all the potential people, narrowed it down a bit, and we dragged this guy down, kicking and screaming. And yeah, to see what, you know, just to see what it was all like. And how can we put it just like a duck to water? We thought, flipping heck, this is uh, interesting. He said, well, I can do this, I can do that, and everything else. So he could do virtually every gig we got, apart from two. So, yeah. so I think the rest is history from there, isn't it? It's just a case of everything sort of slotted into place. And I think with the, obviously, sort of schedule that I've got with Yesterday's Gone as well, it was really, really lucky that we've, we've managed to mesh everything together. And as you say, the only two dates that, that were clashing was we've managed to solve. So, yeah, it's yeah. been good. So how did you solve it? Did one of the bands rearrange to another date? Well, you can't these, be in two places these, at these once, guys, right? These guys, these guys We've had to, step down yeah, we gigs. stepped oh. down from one of the gigs because it clashes with his previous arrangements. Yeah. And we've managed to get a secondary temp singer in, <laughs> a guest singer in, to appear with us. And who is that? <sighs> that will become more apparent later in the year, I think. Oh, okay. So it's a big secret, isn't it? It is. It's a bit se- big secret at the moment. What other big secret can you tell me? I like exclusives. Righty ho. No pressure or anything. No, no pressure. But um, <laughs> how can we put it? There are about 20 songs that we have in the pipeline okay. that were due to be, uh, what's the word, go for pre production for the third album and then get whittled down. But that got slightly sidetracked, right. as we would put it. But we still have the songs and. So now we start to bombard this guy and said, see what you can do with this. And then he slings it back and goes, nah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're the ultimate decision maker then really, aren't you? Kind of, I suppose. I mean, it's Down a, to you. obviously all the lyrics and so on. It's just a complete blank canvas for me at the minute. And it's, it's quite refreshing to sort of step into that and go, actually, I can put a little bit of a stamp on, on what these guys are doing as well. So making it a little bit my own as well. So yeah, it's been good. Is your current band, band worried? Have they, they pulled you aside no, no. and say, look here, we think you we, might want to leave us? No, we've, I mean, no? we've got a really good understanding. And the guys okay. in Yesterday's Gone, you know, I've been with these guys now for three years plus. Um, and, you know, we're, we're pretty solid as far as, you know, the, the, the band is concerned. But, yeah, I think they're, uh, I think there's a bit of, there's a bit of, hang on a minute, why does he keep running off and doing all these festivals? <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I thought you were talking about that guy. No, they no, walked no, past, no. I thought you knew him. <laughs> Right, okay. But they're okay with it. Yeah, absolutely. So, fine. Fine. so what can we expect tonight? Um, well, we've got a lovely 50 minute set. 50? So we're Not quite quick. Yeah, we've got a 50 minute set. We thought we had 40 minutes, but which we've, um, we've got a 40 minute set sorted out for most of the stuff. So we've added a couple. to make your 50 minute set. Yeah. So we've added a couple of extra songs in the set. So we're fortunate that Rob has learned, as we call it, the 40 minute set and the. 
75, 80 minute set that we've got. So it's just a combination of dropping a couple of songs out from one or adding a couple to the other and take it from there. And unfortunately, there's no new stuff in the set yet. We're hoping we can, that can be drip fed in later in the year. So obviously we like to gig test new songs wherever possible. Uh, how can we put it? We weren't able to do that with the last album for obvious reasons. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As nobody was gigging. <laughs> That's very true. I was, you know, thinking about when your previous vocalist left, so you yes. were one of your original members, there was a bit of a backlash, wasn't there, on social media. How did you find that? How did you cope with it? Without trying to be funny, we haven't said anything about it, and we're still continuing not to say anything about it. Okay. We're going to be very, very tactful. Probably the best way, I imagine, in this sort of situation. It is. Apparently he's got a new band right. he's put together, and best of luck to him. Okay. That's a, I think that's a good attitude to have. Definitely. Yeah. Um, well, guys, it's nice speaking to you again. I know Thank that you. Sons of Liberty were one of the first bands I interviewed at SOS several yes, years it was. ago. And I remember it was a very, very hot day. <laughs> Really warm press room. Uh, very warm. Yeah, very, very warm. So we're not, we're not melting quite as much today. It's, no, it's, day. it's quite a nice, um, so, um, cool area. It is cool area. So, um, on that note, thanks for chatting to me, guys. Thank you very nice much indeed. You. Lovely to see you again. again. Nice to Take care. Thank you very much. Oh, guys, don't Bye. forget to subscribe or I'll be very annoyed.